welcome to Limo Express. My name is Zach Lee, and today I get the pleasure of talking with Pacheco's wedding events and staff. The man behind the camera. Today we'll be talking to Alan, the one who's looking at me, or should I say filming me as we speak. The man behind the camera is on the camera today. Yes. Is that, is that exciting for you? Or are you... Uh, it's different. <laughs> I mean, I, I picked up videography and photography so I could be behind the camera, but, you know, of course, Matt um, al allows us to wear multiple hats. So I've already forgotten how many hats I've worn today, um, but, you know, we're here, we're, we're live and we're rolling. How did you get connected with Matt yep. as a uh, videographer? We met when I was just starting my business. So I have a business called Alan Wong Creative Space. I started with the intention of doing photography but i ended up quickly pivoting to video production and that's my main job for the last three years during that time when i was starting my business i got in contact with matt he was also starting his business at that time too i think he was about two three years into it and he wanted someone to take photos of his wait staff for social media and marketing purposes and so the first couple of gigs that I did with him were not actually serving other people, it was actually serving the company. I was taking photos of the wait staff, how hard they work, all the behind the scenes things that people forget. And when I mean forget, I mean literally people do not remember to, you know, clean up after themselves, to set up things. There's a lot of things, like there's a lot of components in weddings and a lot of the small and simple things that you would think people would remember often go unnoticed. You know, for example, who's going to set up the decoration? We have the decoration, but who's going to do it, right? We've had a fun time parting away, and now who's going to clean up the tables, right? And so I've been in a lot of weddings where, you know, it's expected of the groomsmen or the bridal party to kind of like clean up. And who wants to do it when they're tired, right? I was there for the first couple of years to kind of document and really show how hard Pacheco's works and how like innovative and creative and fun they have, you know, during that time. That's awesome, man. So you really were there for that like foundational process and you helped Matt kind of get a, a palette or really expectation for what needs to be done that's not said. And it uh, sounds like you do a lot more than just uh, taking video. Like you said, you wear many hats and um, do you feel like that being in that position, right, having this collaboration with Matt has made you a more well-rounded entrepreneur? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, use, I think one thing that I have is that, you know, we're both business owners, and so I know how incredibly hard he works and how much responsibility he has. When something doesn't go right in a particular wedding or an event, um, he's responsible and he feels that way. You know, obviously we have fun doing the events and, you know, a lot of people have said really nice things about, you know, weddings. It's a celebration, you know, like, you know, it's meant to be um, lively and joyful. Um, but, you know, you can feel Matt's responsibility over each of these things. You can feel his hand and, you know, even down to the people that he selects to be on his team. For me, it, it really is a privilege. And you, you mentioned I wear a lot of hats, you know, the current hat that I'm wearing for him is uh, really bartending. I've sort of given up my like photography, social media position to like other folks. He's always looking for people. So this is, this is a little plug. I'm looking at the cameras right now. If you're a bartender, if you got your like license and you're really good to like work with, if you like, you know, making people happy, like going to events and creating an atmosphere of celebration, like please hit up Matt because he's always looking for extra bartenders uh, and wait staff as well. Tying back to what I first did, which was taking photos for social media of, of the wait staff. You know, people don't see those angles. They, they see the bride, they see the group. And of course, it's like, it's their day. Like, it's the, it's the wedding day. It's supposed to be for, for them, for the family and everything. But if we pull it off correctly, no one will know. And that's where we strive to be. Big shout out to our sponsors, Los Agaves for the delicioso food, Celeste Boutique for keeping me looking fresh, and Dunamis Bay Limousine for the luxurious transportation. Thank you for tuning in for another edition of Limo Express. See y'all next week.